Deshaun, first of all, let me welcome you to the Cleveland Browns. I'm sure this has Thank been kind you. of a, a wild time for you, but but welcome. How are you feeling Thank kind you. of getting here and, and going through a round today? Man, I'm excited. Uh, today, ever since, well, really last night when I got off the plane uh, to eating some good food downtown and to waking up and spending time with the, the training staff and the coaching staff and me and everyone walking through the hallways. It was all great energy, so I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to be here and looking forward to being here for the rest of my career. But what do you want the fans to know about you and what you plan to do coming here, coming into this community, and, and to represent yourself and what you think this organization represents? Yeah, just being first class, and that's what it's all about. Uh, the Haslam's are first class, this organization is first class, this city is first class, the fan base is first class. So you're getting a quarterback that is first class and that wants to be in a community and, and help other people, help you know, this, this you know, family, help this organization, help this, this restaurant, this store, and, and just really just be involved in everything that we do as one. And, um, you know, and that's, that's just what type of person I am. Um, and I've always been that person. I've been genuine, all about good energy, good vibes, and just making sure everyone has a smile on their face at the end of the day. All right, let's just talk about how this all came to be, right? You have a no trade clause. You're able to pick your destination. You decided at one point, you know, I'm doing the radio show, Browns are out, it's <laughs> over. But yet here you are. Right. So the Browns were not ultimately out. How, walk us through kind of that timeline from when you made that decision, then he said, you know what, I want to be a Cleveland Brown. Yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting timeline. Uh, basically had a maybe five day window to kind of decide on where I want to go. Everyone in the media and outside was kind of rushing me. I didn't want to rush this decision, sure. you know? So it led to Browns being out, but necessarily they were never out. Uh, me and my agent knew that. And what was the best situation for me ultimately help a team win a Super Bowl? And where can I continue to go into a great chemistry, a great organization, a great GM, a great head coach, and a great staff around them, and just a great fan base. And that's what I wanted ultimately, and I knew that Cleveland was the opportunity. And certainly it turned out to be that spot. I know you like talking ball, and I'm sure you've had to talk about a lot of things right. unrelated to ball. So what was it like getting on that iPad with Kevin Stefanski and kind of going through some of those plays and him getting, as you mentioned, being honest, saying, okay, here's, yeah. some, here's what I love, and it's a long list, but here's some <laughs> things that, you know, we can get better at. Yeah, he was open, and it was, it was cool because I, we were able to talk ball in that setting. Um, and in other meetings, we didn't necessarily do that. It was about just kind of learning about the city and the organization. But for me to actually sit down and talk ball and hear how he communicate, uh, you know, his plays and what he wants to do and, and the things that he see, you know, with me and his offense doing, it was awesome. And that just took it over the top because I knew I could connect with him and talk with him and relate with him. So you're excited about what this offense could maybe be with you at the helm? Oh, it's gonna be special. For sure, it's gonna be some real, real special. When you've won a national championship like you did in Orange at Clemson, and you mentioned earlier, one of the things you want to do is go get a Super Bowl, which is the pinnacle of this. Is that kind of when you have had that success and you've tasted being at the top of, of your, at that time, you know, where you can be, has that fueled you? Is that something that you're like, I got to get to the top of that mountain here now in the NFL? Oh, definitely. That's the ultimate goal. That, that's, the, that's the one goal I want to continue to get to and then continue to repeat. Uh, we lost back in 2019, but that wasn't, that wasn't enough. And so I want to be able to get that. And that's why I chose the Cleveland Browns, because I knew that this team and this organization want that same hunger. And we have the talent and we have the staff and we have the people around the support cast. to actually do it. Speaking of that supporting cast, what's kind of stood out to you? Like, I mean, I'm sure you look at that offensive line. And yeah. you go, yes, this is great. <laughs> Wonderful. You got Chubb and Kareem Hunt behind you. Amari Cooper's in now, the yes, chief, sir. David Njoku. What do you like kind of about this roster and some of the talent, not only probably on offense, but now you don't have to worry about Miles Garrett coming after you anymore right. either. <laughs> yeah, you got Miles, you got uh, Amari Cooper now, you got the whole offensive line, you got the two running backs, you have the tight ends, you have the receivers. I mean, you have the whole, the whole thing that you need. And then you got the defensive side, you get the secondary linebackers, the D linemen. I mean, it's a complete package. And I, I've seen and watched film as I was making this progress of what those guys were doing last year and just how they bond and gel by the end of the season. Sure. And all those guys mostly coming back, I mean, it, it can be really, really special. So I wanted to be a part of that. So you mentioned earlier the fans, and I'm sure you are quite familiar with the fact that the Browns fans are very, very passionate. Yeah. How important was it to kind of get that college atmosphere again and get in front of fans that are completely bonkers for this team? That's what I need. That's what I need. I want that energy. Uh, every Sunday where it's sold out, and it don't matter who we're playing, what the weather is, 
we're out there, we're they're so celebrating, that's cheering us on, and we're giving them everything that they want to see, and we're supporting them too. We're showing love back to them, and and we're just giving, putting on a show, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, having that same bond with the fan base and, and the team, it's always got to be connected, and I see that here in Cleveland. And certainly they will love this team. They love winning, obviously, and that's something that well, obviously we're hoping is, is coming going yes, forward. Sir. What's it been like being out for a year in terms of being away from the game? What have you done to kind of keep yourself sharp now that you're going to have your opportunity to be back? Um, I've constantly trained. Um, I was training year-round, throwing, working out, running, doing all those sorts of things. And then mentally, I was just kind of sat back and, and watched it as a fan um, from a different perspective. And seeing guys, seeing guys that I know that, of course, that I'm competing with, but, you know, I wouldn't necessarily be hoping that they do good. Now I can sit back and cheer for everybody and see it from a different perspective and then put myself in those shoes on what decision making, especially at the quarterback position. So that was what I was able to do. So I was always attached. I was watching every all 16 games or whatever, however many games I were played. And uh, yeah, I was staying in tune. When's the last time you went a year without getting hit? Oh, it's been a while. So that that was a plus too. Yeah, so that, that, feeling that, good, right? Yeah, I feel real good. You know, so that that prolonged my career for sure. So I was able to get my body healthy, and my mind sharp. So it was good. How eager are you are you to get back to work and just to do what you love and play football? Oh, I'm so ready. They had to drag me out of meetings earlier today to go do some other meetings because uh, I was in there with Kevin and the staff talking ball. So I'm excited to be here. I think it starts April 18th, and uh, ready to just get the ball rolling. Have you gotten a chance to talk with any of your teammates? I have. Uh, they all reached, reached out to me, and uh, I think I'm going to go to dinner with a couple guys tonight, so I'm looking forward to seeing the whole team, but yeah, uh, they all reached out to me. And community all involvement, I know, has been very important to you. I know you're a huge in the Houston community. Why is that something that's so important to you? Because it helped change my life when I was younger. When I was younger, the Boys and Girls Club helped me out by giving me a job at the Falcons and being able to see my dream. Uh, Ward Dunn with the Habitat for Humanity gave me and my family uh, a home to be able to have a roof over our head. So that helped me and my family to get out of the situation we're in. Um, my mom, she had, tongue, she had tongue cancer. So being able to help the medical and people that have cancer and help them in their situations over, overcome that, that tough challenge. And then also just being able to give back for education. Uh, because people always came back to my community in Gainesville and gave back to the education part and was always demanding, hey, get your education, get your education. So that's why I got my degree in college and I graduated early before I came to the league. So all those things are very important to me. Yeah, and I know that for you this has probably been a journey unlike anything you ever imagined over the last year plus, and you're here now, and we're certainly happy to have you. And so, Thank you so much. Great to get to talk to you. Looking forward to get to know you better and yes, to certainly sir. have more of these and to get you out there doing what you love to do and playing football. So, Deshaun, thanks so much for the time and welcome to Cleveland. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Go Browns.